nobly born. O oh, nobly born. O oh, you of glorious origins, remember your radiant, true nature. Remember the essence of mind. Trust it. Return to it. Know it is home. So this is the invitation of our path to begin to trust this nobility. And the word nobility, which is an interesting one, it comes from the Greek word gno, G-N-O for gnosis, which means wisdom or inner radiance or luminosity. And so it connotes this luminosity of heart, this warmth of heart, this clarity of mind. That's our nobility. O nobly born, O you of glorious origins, remember your radiant true nature. So we begin to look at how our practices can help us to trust that radiance, trust our belonging, wake us up out of the egoic self that keeps us in that sense of separation. And the habit, just to say again, when we're feeling self-doubt, is to try to become something better. We try to make ourselves better. One of the uh, best teaching stories I know is of Swami Satchidananda, who he's a Hindu teacher, yoga master. And one of his students said, came up to him and said, do I have to become a Hindu to practice yoga? And his response, I am not a Hindu, I am an undo, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I am an undo. You get it? I mean, it's like we're not becoming something. You don't have to become a Buddhist or a Hindu or an anything. What we're doing is undoing this identification with a separate and limited self. It's an undoing. And that's the blessing of mindfulness, that in a moment of mindful presence, we begin to see what's happening and not be identified with it. We undo that tightness, that self-centeredness. And we undo our identification as a fearful self or as a wanting self. We come home to something larger. Mm -hmm.